Kofi Annan. He was a former United Nations Secretary General. He was born on April 8, 1938, in Kumasi, Ghana. His father's name was Henry Reginald Onan and mother's name was Victoria Onan. His father used to work as an export manager for the Lever Brothers Cocoa Company. Both of his grandfathers and his uncle were tribal chiefs and he was raised in one of Ghana's aristocratic families. He attended the elite Mfansipan School, a Methodist boarding school from 1954 to 1957. It was here that he learned that suffering anywhere concerns people everywhere. Ghana became the first British African colony to gain independence in 1957, the same year when Anon graduated from the Mfansipam School. As a member of the generation that witnessed their country's independence struggle and subsequent victory, he grew up thinking that not everything was possible. He joined the Kumasi College of Science and Technology in 1958 for a degree in economics. He completed his undergraduate studies in economics at McAllister College in St. Paul, Minnesota in 1961. Then he undertook graduate studies in economics at the Institut Universitaire des Hautes Etudes Internationales in Geneva, Switzerland from 1961 to 1962. Kofi Annan's career with the United Nation began in 1962. Then he joined as an administrative and budget officer with the World Health Organization in Geneva. He took a short break from being an international civil servant when he worked as the director of tourism in Ghana from 1974 to 1976. In the 1980, Anon returned to work for the United Nation as an assistant secretary general in three consecutive positions. Before becoming the secretary general, he also served as undersecretary general. His first five-year term as the United Nations Secretary General began on 1 January 1997 when he replaced outgoing Secretary General Boutros Ghali of Egypt. In 1998, he appointed a lady, Louise Frechette of Canada, as the first Deputy Secretary General in an attempt to bring about more gender equality within the United Nations system. His second term as Secretary General began on 1 January 2002, when his tenure was renewed. His reappointment to the post was an indication of his immense popularity. After leaving the United Nation, he returned to Ghana, where he became actively involved with a number of organizations like the Global Humanitarian Forum, the Elders, United Nations Foundation, One Young World, etc. In February 2012, Anon was appointed as the joint United Nations Arab League Special Envoy to Syria in an attempt to deal with the ongoing conflicts there. He resigned in August 2012, owing to lack of any progress due to intransigence on the part of all the concerned parties. As the Secretary General of the United Nation, he launched the Global Compact Campaign in 1999 which is the world's biggest initiative for promoting corporate social responsibility. Anon viewed the HIV-AIDS pandemic as his personal priority and in April 2001 issued a call to action proposing the establishment of a global AIDS and health fund to help developing countries deal with the crisis. After the September 2001 terrorist attacks on the United States, he played a crucial role in stimulating the General Assembly and the Security Council to take actions for combating terrorism. In 2005, he presented a progress report in larger freedom to the United Nations General Assembly, in which he recommended a host of reforms to renew and strengthen the United Nations organization. 
an unmarried and Nigerian woman Titi Alakija in 1965, but they later separated in the 1970s and divorced in 1983. They have two children, Ama and Koho, together. He later got married to Nain Lagergren, a Swedish lawyer. She has a daughter from a previous marriage. Anand and the United Nation were jointly awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2001 for their work for a better organized and more peaceful world. His birth name was Kofi Ada Anand. The name Kofi literally means a boy born on a Friday. His memoir Interventions, A Life in War and Peace, written with Nader Mousa Visited, was published in 2012. Fluent in French, English, and several African languages, outside of his impressive career. He is the seventh secretary of the peacekeeping body. As the secretary general, he reformed the United Nation bureaucracy and carried out projects like working to combat HIV, especially in Africa, and launched the United Nation Global Compact. Kofi Annan died on August 18, 2018, in Bern, Switzerland. He was 80. Knowledge is power. Information is liberating. Education is the premise of progress in every society, in every family said Kofi Annan.